big story on Thursday. I guess I, I think I read it late last night on Wednesday, but it kind of blew up on, on Thursday. Was uh, Jay Glazer, who Fox superstar, you know, kind of like I'd say him, Schefter, Woj. There, there's a select few reporters that are unique. A, a large percentage of the reporters that you follow on Twitter, and, and I do too, they are just talking to agents. So they just get the player side of it. And you see it a lot in the NBA. I, I, I like a good, well-rounded reporter. Like, I, I, I'm not looking for, like, a lot of reporters are basically relievers. They got one pitch. The Schefters, the Glazers, the Wojas, they're talking to everybody. Absol- they got every single GM and coach's number in their phone. And Jay Glazer knows them all, and he's very tight with the Saints. He knows Sean Payton very, very well. So what he's saying, I do believe he believes what he's saying. And I don't even disbelieve that he's been told this. I mean, I, he's telling the truth here. Jay Glazer said that Taysom Hill will be the guy in 2021. That's not a smokescreen. He'll be the guy. Quote. And and listen, he said that Sean Payton loves him and all that. It's just, okay. My oh, one big pet peeve of mine in life is judging people on words. You, you see it a lot on social media. People love getting on their moral high horse. Listen, I, I see it a lot in California. People love telling you about how they're living, how how their way of life is the right way. And it's like uh, the Bob the Bob Knight way of coaching. Do as I say, not as I do. It's My mom always gets mad at me. She's like, you are too honest. Why do you swear so much? I'm like, mom, every time I've ever recorded anything, Every time I've ever gone live on Periscope, anytime I've ever done anything on a podcast, I have been as honest and completely candid about what's really going on in my life as possible. I, I and Sometimes some people are going to like it, some people are not, but I am not a fraud. I despise frauds. And I think, let's face it, I would say a majority of people are pretty fraudulent. Especially the majority of like, you know, celebrities or media people. Uh, and, and it's just not, I, 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 I hate that because I don't judge anyone by what they say. I, I really, now listen, I mean, your songs or your radio show, I mean, I want to be entertained, but I, I, I'm not looking for moral guidance by words. And I, you see it a lot in society. And you also see it a lot in football. Coaches all the time and, and executives say things all the time. And, it's not often very true. Brian Pace, when the season ended with Chicago Bears, said Mr. Trubisky is going to be the starting quarterback. And technically, he's still the starting quarterback. They just went and traded for Nick Foles, right? Like a, a, a lot of people tell you, you should pay more money in taxes. Celebrities and super rich people. And then what do they tell their accountant? Find every single loophole so I don't have to pay. Again, I just judge people on action. Remember Kaepernick? when Seattle was going to sign him and John Harbaugh was thinking about signing him and they all said, I think he's a starting quarterback and then nobody signed him. Like, no, you don't. You're just saying that because you think it's going to... And a lot of people in public jobs, including the media, like saying things because they think it looks good. Me personally, I like saying things that I think people can relate to because that's how I actually think. And, you know, most people I know think. Doesn't mean everyone's going to agree but I try to be very, very real. And I think there's an element that Sean Payton really, really likes him. I would not argue that. Sean Payton really, really likes Taysom Hill. But last year, Teddy Bridgewater was the highest paid backup quarterback in the NFL. And what happened? Drew Brees got hurt. Teddy Bridgewater became the starting quarterback, not Taysom Hill. And you can tell me, well, John, he plays running back. He plays pump protector. He does so much. Yeah, find someone else to do that. Quarterback's more important than your punt protector. So if you think Taysom Hill is better than Teddy Bridgewater, Taysom Hill should have been the quarterback. But they didn't think that because they paid Teddy Bridgewater $7 million to be the backup. And you go, okay, this is the year. Drew Brees signs a contract with NBC. He's going to be, they claim, in the studio, uh, if there was a prop bet that you could bet that Mike Tirico and Drew Brees will be the Sunday night uh, broadcast crew, let's see, it's 2020. I'd say by 2023, I would have no hesitation putting a wager on that one because that's happening. 
But he's gone. This is going to be his last year. At least it feels like that way. But here's what I know. They signed Jameis Winston. And here's what I know about Jameis Winston. He was a number one overall pick as a quarterback. Last year, he threw 7 million interceptions. He also did throw 33 touchdowns. And I'll promise you this. If I had to win a game next year, if I needed a starting quarterback next year, if I needed to bet on a guy for the next five years, if I had an elite quarterback coach, which they do in Sean Payton, and an infrastructure and a culture of playing quarterback there, and a guy to be around Drew Brees, I'd bet on Jameis Winston over Taysom Hill. So again, they've said all this, and they've been saying since last year how much they love this guy. They just gave him a two-year contract and guaranteed him $16 million. So they have him under contract for next year. Now granted, they only gave Jameis a one-year contract. But what if they find out this year, they go, wow, Jameis is around Drew Brees, and Drew Brees is telling Sean, like, this guy's really impressive. And then he's in the practice field, he's playing well. Let's say Drew gets hurt again. Here's what I do know. Jameis Winston will be the starting quarterback that given week if Drew Brees goes down. I promise you that. Because Jameis Winston is a better quarterback than Taysom Hill. Now, he also has some flaws, and maybe there's an upside. Here's what I also know. If you're like, Taysom Hill is this kind of raw product. Do you know there's a bunch of raw product that he had to mold? Was Steve Young. Do you know what they used to do with Steve Young? Play him at quarterback. He also could do a lot of other things. They played him at quarterback. Developed him as a quarterback. This guy does not ever develop as a quarterback. Maybe he doesn't practice. In the games, he's carrying the ball, catching the ball. To play quarterback, you actually have to, I don't know, play quarterback. So we're freaking out, and I understand it because words and headlines move the needle. They get us all to react, including myself. I'm just as guilty. I'm not pretending to not. I mean, I, I get worked up about stupid stuff as much as the next guy. But here's what, after I take a deep breath, I try to say to myself, I don't give a what they're saying. It just, I, it, does it even matter? Because I don't think he probably will be the quarterback. They can say it, and they might even believe that. But their actions always tell you that that's not what they're actually thinking. Why do they keep si- signing actual quarterbacks? Teddy Bridgewater, who was a first-round pick, whose knee fell off, who they rehabilitated, and got $60 million. He was pretty good. I mean, he started all those games, they won a bunch. Jameis Winston, who's been in their division, who they've played twice a year for the last, you know, whatever, five years, so he played 10 times. Unless he, he, one of the games he was suspended, I'd have to go back and check. But let's just assume they played him 10 times over the last five years. Actual James, like, Sean Payton knows him pretty well. So I, they can tell me whatever they want. People say, especially in football, the stupidest things. And then they often do something else. And, and I only judge football teams. I only judge general managers. I only judge head coaches. Just like I only judge the media elites and celebrities and athletes on their actual actions. I don't care what they say. You know, I, I, I just don't. It doesn't bother me at all. And it's something I've had to, you know, work on as I've gotten older. But, you know, I, I just, we, we get so freaked out about it. One thing I see is going on on social media right now is they're making fun of that Karen. the And she's just kind of symbolic of every person that doesn't want to wear a mask. Here's what I know. And it's, it's a, everyone's ganging up on, on that person, right? Whenever you complain about wearing a mask. I understand if you're told to wear a mask, you got to wear a mask. Like, that's just part of the deal. But if you're complaining about wearing a mask and you're, like, crushing them, here's what I know. There is not one person in my life, not one single person that I know, not on social media, no, in actual real life that doesn't hate wearing masks. And the moment they are told you don't have to wear a mask anymore, they will never wear a mask again. Now, they're wearing masks where they have to. They're not breaking laws here. Every single person I know hates it. Yet on social media, it's like a cool thing to wear a mask. It's classic social media. Just like this is classic football talk. Like, great little headline. Yeah, they signed Jameis Winston. If Drew Brees breaks his ankle tomorrow, Jameis will be the starter. Taysom will be the punt protector. And then they'll have to sign another quarterback to be the backup because Taysom couldn't even be the backup. So this Taysom Hill thing, I'm not saying there's not something there. He's a really good football player. He's like a poor man's Kyle Juszczyk. You know? But Kyle Juszczyk is a fullback. We keep acting like this guy's the next Steve Young or something. He's 30 years old. He tore his ACL like three times in college. And now he has a nice little niche. He's getting, you know, two-year contract at $16 million guaranteed. Made some cash. Great story. Props to Sean Payton. Just stop worrying about, like, the hype on this guy and just wait till he actually starts the game. Because I'm waiting, you know? And I'm pretty sure we're going to be waiting a while. Fire!